Hey, I have a B9S5. I'm stage two ECU TCU. When I got new rims, I also went on E85. Now I can't launch without spinning, even without building boost. Any reasoning? You're making more power than your tires can hold. Yeah, but yeah, that happens. Um, you don't have to have it completely matted either. To you want to like mat it to get the launch control initiated, but you can back off of the uh, the accelerator a bit. Um, depending on the amount of traction you've got. If it's a, you know, right now we're in pretty cold conditions. I don't know where you're at, uh, but cold tires on cold pavement is yeah. very tricky to hook up. Yeah, and you, it'd be good to know if, you know, you, uh, if you, um, what, what tire setup you went with. Um, you don't say that, but. Yeah, tires, pressures, all that. You know, you change your wheels and tires and you, substantially increased your power at the same time so yeah. chances are you probably would have it's chances are you know the tires are probably as your new tires are probably as grippy as your old ones but it's just the, the power that's spinning things yeah. it depends too if they went with like a like a 21 or some you know a really low profile tire that can certainly impact yeah. uh, traction well that's what i was going to say if, if you told us what tire you wins and yeah you you're running a 21 or a 22 on a 25 series sidewall then yeah, you're, you're just going to have less grip, but you also went E85, so yeah. who knows. Uh, generally, bigger tires, bigger diameter tires with smaller sidewalls have less grip. Um, if, if, just think about running shoes, you know, uh, like tennis shoes. They have big cushy soles so they can kind of grab the ground and grip. Um, and, and tires with more sidewall will conform better to the road surface and irregularities and typically give you more more grip not you know not always the case but um there's a reason you don't see people you know running nines on 25 series sidewall tires yes yeah that's yeah. or or, or, or any fast drag or you don't see 30 series sidewalls in f1 right they literally have like 50 series sidewalls oh <clears throat> they're way bigger than that those are tiny yeah <laughs> you know wh whatever they are they're huge it's it's not the uh well, I guess the, the amount still, of side, wide. Yeah, you're right. The percentage is they're, 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 probably, they're probably yeah. around fifty. But um, the point is, they're not twenty or yeah. thirty. Yeah. Um, really, the only good thing about thin sidewall tires is they look cool. I mean, that's that's about mm -hmm. it. They they can have really good you know steering feel because there's less sidewall to squish around, so you can get really immediate response from the tire. Mm -hmm. uh, you know when you turn the steering wheel, the tread follows the rest of the wheel um, more, more directly because there's typically less sidewall, but you can, you can have 50 series tires with really stiff sidewalls due to the carcass and everything and yep. um, get that too, which is what F1 tires are.